Hey YouTube, what's going on, man? I'm back. I'm back. I know y'all been missing me. I, I, you know, I've been streaming, and you know, streaming honestly takes a big toll on you. Um, for those who don't know, and I know y'all probably thinking and have thought, yeah, you're probably right. But again, though we back, man. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, sticking in, and I got the more of the videos rolling out right now, man. If you're watching this video right now, go ahead and drop your favorite anime down there into the comments, man. Tell me what you like. See, I got my hero on. Some of y'all might think it's mid, but hey, I like my hero. I love it. Other than that, man, sit back, relax, watch this video. Let's get an untamed mob. We up next, man. All right, so YouTube, let's get into this first build, man. This first build, we're going to do it at the center. And this is getting into the, the realm of like the short centers. And when I say short centers, I'm considering those like below 16. Um, you can make a 610 center that's, you know, kind of small in terms of like his attributes, but I still consider 610 in that round where it's the bigger big. So anything that's 6 down, I mean 69 and below, you know, that's what I'm, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, talking about. So let's get into this build, man. We are going to go to 68. And I'll show you why I went 68 once we actually get into the builder. We gotta go, or well, I'm going to 275. The reason I am going to 275 is because it's gonna keep your strength true. Um, I don't know if you all paid attention in one of my last videos that I made, I was saying how, you know, the bigger bigs, they're always gonna get a priority over you if their weight is the same and y'all strength is the same. So say if you have a 7271 big uh, that you're going against, um, and you both have like a 99 strength or a 90 plus strength, but, He's uh, taller. They're gonna let him win more battles in the strength category because he's taller, even though you you have a little bit more weight to get you to that strength. So I went to this, so it kind of gives you a little safety in that area. And then we went max on the wingspan. Body type, I went compact, or I like to do it on compact for bigs like this because honestly, you look freakishly huge if you do not do that. So let's get into this build, man. So. You got to think with this build, you're not going to have um, any standing contact dunks. So really, I wouldn't too much worry about it. I would use it more so like, a, you know, a popper and come into the room and to catch oops, that kind of deal. Then after that, with the 85 and the 82, the 85, is, that's going to give you the uh, fearless. That's going to give you the uh, fast twitch and also going to give you the masher gold. The 82 driving layup. I know that some people have said that you can get some pretty decent layup packages at 82. We're not going to go all the way to 88 for the long athlete, but went to 82 because I heard Zach, Le Zach Levine was pretty decent. So went to 86 here on this. Then we end up getting this to a 45, and that's going to be based off the vertical. And then this ends up going to a 35 based off of the strength that we have. So now we're going to come down here to the shooting. Now, I run my shooting like this because it gives me enough of the badges that I want, and it also gives me the jump shot that I want in terms of like the base. And then right here, our 78 free throw is where it's gonna cap out at just because of, you know, everything else that we have. That's where we're gonna stop it. Um, so we took these up to a 71, sorry. Took it up to a 71. Let's drop that, that's a 71 cap, this is an 86. All right, and then right here on the interior, we went to a 91. 91 is gonna give you a, a, a bunch of good, good animations and also it's gonna give you that gold um, <clears throat> post move lockdown along with the uh, extra badge. That's what I was trying to get to. <laughs> so we're gonna go 73 right here on the interior. You see the 73 that just gives you an extra badge. I'm not too worried about you having to play on the perimeter with this build, even though you will be able to, because you are 6'8", but still trying to be, you know, more into the big category. So right here, we went to a 90 on the steel. So that 90 steel is gonna be toxic. And I'm gonna tell you like this, it works once you get the glove on and the, and the paint, along with the post move lockdown you can definitely, you know, spam up a big in terms of that. So this right here, though, is what I want to talk about. This is the reason why it's better to go 6'8 other than 6'7 with the centers if you're trying to make a small one. Because with a 6'7 center, you cannot get gold anchor. And honestly, gold anchor to silver anchor is miles, miles difference. Like once you throw on gold anchor, you see it. You're like, oh yeah, this is working. Now, this is the biggest difference between the 6'8 and the 6'7. Now, also with the 6'7, you don't get that, you know, obviously with the 6'7, you get the 99 steel. With the 6'8, you don't get the 99 steel, so we just leave it at a 90. But the block is definitely different. Definitely, definitely different, and obviously a plus. Um, we went to a 99 here, because you have to have that at least Hall of Fame to get the best animations possible for your height. And we took this up to a 87. 
it gives us 32 total defensive badges total or potential badges we got a 70 on the speed because with you being the smallest no need for you being as slow as another big so try try to bump, bump your speed up just a little bit so you can you know be a little bit more mobile um get your back door cuts in so on and so forth and this here is another thing that we did we went to a 95 here on the strength now that 95 is going to give you the hall of fame brick wall also with the bully which the bully you may not even use like that but it's going to give you the hall of fame brick wall which is def a definite definite plus with you being this small um because obviously bigs first thing they're going to do is try to throw the ball down in the paint post you up every time no matter what so they just gotta have that to be ready for so i went to a 90 here on that let's drop this down one like i might end up having some extra points left over but we'll see what we can do with it went to a 90 here and let's see what we got we got 79 so we got some extra points to do anything with actually I'm trying to figure out how I got the extra points. We got the 70, 99, 93, 90, 91. So we got 36, 71. So really, you can honestly either come here, beef this up a little bit more, or if you don't want to do that, you can come here, you can go there. See, so get your extra badge here, that's that, and get you one more here, then we can get you to an 80. So, so actually for my count, with 16, 10, and six with 32. So now you have 17, 11, six, and 32, which is a little bit better. Now you saw the change that I made where you could get the 90 office rebound. That, that That's still a definite plus too if you don't care about the extra badges. Um, you can definitely do that. And I'm gonna tell you, it, it works. It works, it's definitely OP. So you can hit continue and you see you got sharp rim and glass, which is, you know, obvious. You know, for me, I don't necessarily have to, or I feel like whenever you have that high rebound, you don't have to run these. When you run these, it's just purely for the animation. I think this, especially being this height, it's going to be more detrimental to you because your 6'8 big is going to be able to mash. You're going to have to end up throwing on pogo stick to, you know, try to combat them missing the layups and you being able to rebound because you're still going to get the animation or you're going to get pushed in the rim. Even though you're, you're strong, it's not going to necessarily, <clears throat> it's not going to necessarily stop you from like getting that animation because it's literally an animation it's like it's just an arcade animation you can't stop but don't what you can stop are the back down ones where they're you know using back down punishing pushing in that's where the, the uh the brick wall comes in so let's go ahead and get into testing this build i see i went back too far give me a second let's get y'all over there man so as you can see here with this build we have a defensive anchor with shades of marcus canby yusuf nurkis and jared allen and then let's go ahead and get into testing this build let's get him up to a 99 and see what we can do guys let's see Got my thing okay there we go starts to move now the defense on this is crazy um it really is and we'll get to that part soon so let's do this stuff. how i would tell you to run it i would say go ahead and go to your gold masher get your gold masher see what else we're looking at we got the acrobat we got the rise up i wouldn't really too much worry about the rise up because like i said you're not really trying to dunk on people you won't be able to you'll just get the standing dunk whenever you need it to happen but most of the time still in some you know phases of the game your standing dunks are true standing dunks they're still uh driving dunks so <clears throat> with that being said let's actually go to let's do fast twitch it's gonna give us 10 right there and that leaves us with seven then we can come into Let's do slithery. We can get this gold, can't we? We can. So we might end up doing this. Might end up doing this. Or in this. Come back, get your slithery. Or you can come back to the posterizer, whichever one you want to do. But I always say go to slithery first because you don't necessarily need the posterizer to make the dunks. You just need it to hold the animation. So if you're just using it, you know, slashing. You know you'll be good without the posterizer but you can change it up do whatever you want to do like i said we're all just testing the building just looking at badges right now um so another thing you can do with this one you also got a little bit of the shooting capability with everything so we got the claymore we actually end up coring this and then i would say we'll come back and go here go that silver and then do bottom shooter silver and run it this way unless you want to drop something down and then come to amp that will work too or take three off and then come to guard up whatever works for you then let's see we're going here to these badges we're going to go break start we're going to go floor general and we actually should probably let's do this let's drop floor general down one i'm going to put needle threader on because with you being smaller i'm going to tell you it's going to be a lot of times where your passes are just going to hit people in the face whenever you do get offensive rebounds 
it's stupid. I agree it's stupid to get some weird animations, but it's gonna happen. Just trust me, it will. Let's see, let's core. Let's see, this one was three. What's this? Two. So we're obviously gonna core this and then we'll come back up here and let's do post play and then we'll do this. Now defensive badges, which is also a W. So I'll tell you this, the change from 6.8 to 6.72, your rebound chaser goes from tier three to tier two. And then what else changes? I think that's the only thing that changes. Your anchor, I think, stays tier three. But this being down here is not a big deal. It's okay. Um, so we'll just end up doing this. I always try to get these badges going first, and then we'll come and put on glove, just bronze. And then what's that? Three six. And we'll do that. Do that. And I need one more. So we'll just throw it on box out piece. So we're gonna go to rebound chase. We're gonna make the Hall of Fame, of course. Let's core that. Come get our anchor, then let's get into the other badges so we don't miss out on anything. So we got 15, we got four here, so three here that leaves us with eight. Let's see, post move lockdown, we only need three for that. So we got five here, that's five, and that's five, and that's the three. So that's what we might be doing. We might be going five here, and then come back and get the three up here with the post move lockdown and run it this way. Now, obviously, you can change it up and you have extra badges that you can use for you know your opportunities, but I think. In terms of making a short center for season two, this is definitely, the, you know, the short center way that you should go. Um, and here you have it, guys. This right here is the defensive anchor. Like I said, this is probably the best way to make a short center if you just, you know, that's what you want to do and that's what you want to have fun with. But other than that, man, go ahead and spam up the like button. Hit, hit the sub button, man. We're on the road to 300 subs. We also hit the big 200. I forgot to mention that, but we hit the big 200. But like I said, we're on the road to 300 subs. I think we're sitting at 205 right now. So go ahead and smash that. Sup, but like I just said, an untamed mob, we on the way up, man. Appreciate y'all.